Hello, this video is showing you how I clean my MacBook Pro 17 inch unibody and the reason I'm going to be cleaning is because it just seems to be running a little hot to me and the reason I say that is because when rendering a video in Final Cut or just you know watching an HD video online like Netflix the computer gets around 65 to 70 when watching videos online and when rendering it reaches all the way up to 95 degrees Celsius which is almost at the, the processor's max TDP which you don't really want to hit that because if you keep hitting the TDP then you know after a while the processor is just going to lose performance and it's going to start pretty much burning itself and eventually you're going to have a dead processor and so you don't want that and usually what the the reason that laptops start to run hotter is because since it's such a tight you know packed area and, this, and the fans are always spinning at high RPM it's going to collect a lot of dust and um, especially with MacBook Pros since they normally run, they run hot anyway. Since they're just metal boxes of of you know heat, pretty much. And but it just it seems to be running hotter than most Unibody MacBook Pros do. And so probably dust is the reason. And so what I'm going to be doing is taking off the bottom case and taking a compressor and and blowing the computer to get all the dust away. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I remove the top case, which is pretty easy, except for in my case. I ended up um, cutting my finger because when I was taking off the top case, for some reason it wouldn't come off and I had to run my finger across all the edges to finally work its way off. And when I was doing that, I, I didn't really, I couldn't feel it because I was putting so much pressure on the computer, not that much pressure, but I was putting enough pressure on the computer where I didn't feel my finger. And I guess that whole time I was dragging it across, I was dragging my finger across pretty much a knife and it, slight, it cut me open pretty good. It took almost like a whole chunk of my skin off. But, and I started bleeding everywhere on my Mac, which isn't really good. But anyways, so, you know, that's uh, that sucked, but over that now. And also in this video, I'm gonna be showing you what my temperatures were pre-dusting and what they are after dusting. Okay, so right now you're watching pre-dusting and I'm just watching a HD video online. As you can see, I hit all the way up to 58 degrees Celsius and to me that just seems a little too much for watching videos online and just doing normal web browsing. And so next I'm going to be jumping into Final Cut Pro 10 and as you can see I'm just rendering a video that I made a couple color changes to and I hit all the way up to I believe 95 degrees Celsius which you know that even seems a little too high which that's getting pretty close to the TDP. So now I'm going to be taking off the bottom cover and there's my screwdrivers but uh, taking off the bottom cover of the new MacBook Pro Unibodies is pretty easy. I got, all you have to do is unscrew all the screws and take the panel off. But in my case, for some reason, it was really hard to do so. You see, I took all the screws off, and it just would not come off no matter what I did. Now, here is where I cut my finger. As you can see, but that skin actually pulls back a lot, and there was a lot of blood, and it got all over the Mac. And... Uh, yeah, it wasn't very good. I, I wouldn't suggest running your finger along the edge of the computer, but uh, you live and learn. So you can't really see that well, but if you look at the fans, they should be black, and they're actually like a light brown, and all over the battery and just everywhere is just a light coating, actually a pretty thick coating of dust, which that's a pretty good indication that your computer is running hotter than it normally should be. Okay, so this is after dusting. Now I'm watching the almost same video in 720p, and as you can see, it's way cooler, about five to six degrees Celsius cooler, and that's just from dusting. So now we're in Final Cut Pro 10, and we're doing the same color changes and rendering. As you can see, it hovers around 88 to 90 degrees Celsius instead of reaching 92 to 95 degrees Celsius. So like I said, it is a five to six degrees Celsius change. So thanks for watching my video. Goodbye.